Hey, I'm Ronja from CCM and today we are going to pick a card and talk about it. So if you want to skip ahead, you can just go down below to the timestamps. So now, firstly, we're going to shuffle the cards. So I, won't, I will see you where I shuffle. Now we're going to see what kind of card we'll get. So I'm going to shuffle a bit. So trust. So the card that got picked is the trust card, uh, which is an image of a girl who is falling or jumping uh, off something like she's in in the air you don't see where how far it is down and uh, she holds out her arms like wings and and the card like it, it like i said it's just a trust card and the image will like show you that this girl she jumps off or fall off but in theory she jumps off and is falling but she trusts she trusts the process she trusts everything she trusts that she will either fly off with her arms probably that she will fly off but also that she trusts that if she lands she will land softly and you can talk about trust in many situations. You can talk about trust in relationships. You can talk about trust uh, with friends or like in relationships. And you can also talk about trust in yourself. And uh, you can tr talk about trust in the process you need to go through or the process you want to go through. And so if we start to talk about trust in relationship in like friendship and all of that. It's very important that you are able to trust other people and that you trust them to not hurt you or not make fun of you and that you feel like you can be yourself. This is something I know that I struggle with a lot of times because I feel like I'm so weird inside, like my thought patterns is very weird. So I don't really let people in on them. Like I don't tell always what I think or how I feel about s situations and so. Because I don't really trust so much in people that they can handle it uh, or that they can take it. Like it's more about that I don't feel like they can take it like I'm scared that if I tell things about myself that people will get scared or worried or feel bad for me and because I'm really empathic I, I do feel what they feel so if they feel very bad about me or feel sorry for me it gets like a burden on me so when I talk about bad situation for me it can like backfires that I myself feel worse about that situation just because I have talked to someone about it but on the same time I do have some people that I feel like I can talk to and some people that I talk to a little bit like I tell them some stuff but not all of it um, so like this kind of thing, like trusting other people, friendship or relationship is something that I know I, I myself must work about and work with. So yeah, in those relationships and friendships and so on, you need to have trust in people and you need to trust that they, they can take you. And sometimes they might not and then you can step back, but you should start with have some kind of trust in people. Even if I don't really trust in that people can like take me or uh, that they will accept like what I say or what I think, I do still trust people in that they do as best as they can and, and that they are trying their best. And that is also very important that you really feel like people are 
as good as they can be or tries to be that they don't do dumb stuff or like not nice stuff to you just because that they are like that um, it's more like they have their own problems and everyone goes through things who will form them to who they are and for some people that makes them do from your perspective dumb decisions but from their perspective like how they see the world it would probably be the best decision for them so if we, we jump forward to trusting yourself and um, this is kind of i think the most important thing because if you don't trust yourself you won't really it will affect like you won't trust others either and you won't trust everything like nothing if you don't trust yourself and trusting yourself can come from different things like trusting yourself can come from that you feel like you do stuff good and that you have had like a really good environment that you was born in them that you had like everything is working out for you and you do feel that you have the confidence in that um, but you can also get the confidence and get more trust in yourself by looking at situation where you were there that have like make you not trust in yourself so not from a perspective where you look at yourself and look at what you did wrong and what you should do, did do instead but more about why did you do the choice what did you think and what did you know in that situation that made you do this choice? Because most of the times you do a choice based on what you feel or what your thought patterns are. And that often comes from somewhere. And often it isn't so bad place it comes from. It mostly comes from things that has formed you that you don't really have so much to say about so from that perspective you did actually do the things the thing that was the right decisions for you in that moment and sometimes you get to trust by you doing stuff like if you are afraid to do something if you do it and you will like get trust in yourself the more you do a thing that you don't that you're afraid to do and that I think is a really important thing that like it doesn't matter how much you're afraid of stuff you can be afraid of how many things that is but like taking steps forward in that direction so you aren't as afraid of it will prime like it will prime you to trust more self in, like trust yourself more and will also make you less fear And I think that everyone on this planet does as best as they can and they should trust themselves because they have the potential. Even if they do bad decisions, if you look, off, look on it objectively, like they should then trust themselves that they can do better choices because they can. Everyone can do as best as they can. Some people does have some limits, but it isn't defining you. It doesn't make you who you are and you can still trust yourself. If you can't walk, you can maybe talk. Like you can still do stuff and you can affect people with it and you can affect yourself. So trusting the healing or the healing process. And that is like if you are going to try to heal yourself or trying to fix stuff or trying to like get your thought patterns in place and get your emotions in place it's that you also need to have trust because you need to have trust that even if you feel these terrible emotions right now it will go away uh, and it, this is not just about like the healing process and so like it's about all the emotions all the thoughts that 
if you are stuck in a thought pattern or in an emotion, like you must have trust that it will go away. And if you are working with your healing, if you're working with feeling your emotion, you can get trapped and you must trust yourself that you can let it go then. Uh, and sometime and like you need to let it go also. Like if you are just stuck in it, you won't really get healed because you are just more stuck. But you must trust yourself that you will let it go. And you must trust the process, whatever process you are going to focus on. Like I like very much, some people who knows me know this, I love the word placebo. I love that just because you think something that and feel something that that will go on and make you feel like that or make you be like that. If I think that I will get healthy eating an apple a day, I will get healthier just by eating it. Also now we know that apple is healthy but it goes with many things and if you know that if I do this and this, I will get better, I will feel better. Trusting that will make it a lot easier to be that. So trusting the process, trusting whatever healing process, emotional thing you are going through, Trusting whatever you do, whatever strategy you use, whatever technique you use, trusting that that will help you and make it better, will make it better. Today we were talking about trust and trust in different situations. And if you want to add something, just write down in the comments below. Tell me about your experience with trust and trust in different situations. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I see you in the next video.